All right, welcome back to my channel. This is just a quick update on my 2002 Ford F-250 with the 7.3. Um, so just did a couple things today. Uh, I installed a, a single steering stabilizer because the truck didn't come with one, so I just did that. Uh, also, I installed, uh, I did a fuel filter change and installed the Riff Raff Diesel uh, billet aluminum uh, lid. And the reason why I did that uh, is because the factory lid, well, over time from what I've been reading online, these things can leak. Um, and so, you know, to help prevent that, I just went ahead and got the, did some research. And a lot of people seem to really like that billet aluminum lid. And I can torque it down, you know, really tight where it won't, uh, you know, it won't, it won't leak. Um, you know, from what I read online that, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just hard to, without a special tool, it's hard to get that thing off and on. And I did have to buy a special tool. Uh, this is gear wrench. I think it's gear wrench. Yeah. Fuel bowl lid, um, tool, you know, it just fits right in there. And it, you know, um, you know, it's, I mean, it works really well. It was really easy to get this off, um, and to, you know, tighten it down. Um, I did replace the fuel filter with a factory OEM motorcraft filter and i will say that to change the fuel filter on this ford was super easy you know the 98 12 valve it's easy to change the fuel filter it's just it's one fuel filter right but it, it is kind of behind a lot of things and it's kind of hard to get to but essentially it's it's easy right um and this the 73 wow i mean super easy so I will say in the instruction manual, it doesn't say to drain the fuel bowl. You don't have to drain the fuel bowl to change the fuel filter, right? It just simply says, remove the lid, remove the filter, replace, and fire up the truck. And that's exactly what I did. As a matter of fact, I did confirm that also with, uh, you know, those Ford coffee table books for the 7.3 power stroke world for the Ford diesels. Um, if you don't know what that is, um, maybe I'll provide a link or something where you can take a look. I, I've talked about them in the past when I had my six, seven Fords, um, but essentially it's a, it's a man, it's like a, you know, it's a coffee table book. It goes into great detail about the engines, the, you know, the seven, three, six, oh, six, four, and the six, seven power strokes. Uh, but even in that coffee table book for the seven, three, it, it simply states, remove the lid, remove filter, replace O-rings and replace the lid. And that's it fired it right up uh that's exactly what i did and when researching that online some people will drain the fuel bowl you know if you feel that there's water in there then you drain it but the o-rings as everyone knows on these fuel bowl fuel bowls they tend to leak and a lot of times from what i've read online that those that keep draining you know open up that drain valve because those o-rings on the drain valve will leak this truck is 22 years old only got 36,000 miles on it, but I'm sure those O-rings are, they're a little bit old, right? So I didn't, I didn't want to take a chance of opening it up and then the O-rings, you know, it's just, they're old. So I, I didn't do that and drain the fuel bowl. And according to the Ford manuals, you don't have to. Um, but anyways, those that, you know, people have said that, you know, as soon as they crack that, you know, fuel bowl drain, um, it begins to leak. Even after you shut it, it just keep leaking. So, uh, and others have said that, yeah, you don't need to drain the fuel bowl. And absolutely, you don't have to. I didn't spill any diesel. No diesel came out of the fuel bowl leaking into the valley. None of that. It was, you know, I did put a bunch of rags, you know, a bunch of these, uh, you know, blue rags, you know, all around there and nothing, it didn't leak. You know, and it was super easy. I was, wow, you talk about easy. Uh, you know, but anyways, uh, oh, if, for those that do decide to get the uh, Riff Raff diesel fuel bowl lid, um, it requires a 35 millimeter. Let me see if I can get that focus. Wait, hold on. Yeah, 35 millimeter. Uh, this this is a this is an exact fit. I think someone online said you need a 36. 36 mil will work, but it's a little loose. The 35 mil, and I'll show you. Right. 
So let's let's go ahead and do this live. Well, not live, but uh, you know, in this video. All right. So, see right there. Oh, focus. Thirty-five mil. Okay. Riff raff fuel bowl lid. There he goes. See that? And look, there's no play, none at all. It is, it is a tight fit. It is an exact fit. So 36 will work, but it'll be a little bit loose. I do have a 36 mil and yes, it is a little bit loose. Um, but, uh, but anyways, when, when you do crank down on this, I mean, it comes to a point where it's gonna stop and it ain't gonna go anymore. Like it's just not. Um, so it's, it's tight and snug. Oh, also, Riff raff, see that little plug right there? You know, if you want to add a fuel, you know, fuel pressure gauge, you can. Uh, now the bolt itself has pressure ports that you can test and add a fuel pressure gauge, but you know, it's just nice. Just has another, you know, extra place to check fuel pressure. So that's nice. I, I do high. This is a nice piece. It really is. So I, I highly recommend. You know, if you have a seven three, this this lid is worth it. Absolutely worth it. So. Uh, all right. Well, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe, share, um, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.